Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I'm sitting here with uh, my new computer and uh, I actually have a, an HP Touchpad that is still running uh, the Android Alpha the 3.5 and this is um, this is the CyanogenMod 7 and so uh, a lot of people were asking how do you go straight from CM7 up to the CyanogenMod 9 that is based on the uh, ice cream sandwich and and I've done some videos however I haven't shown you exactly from beginning to end uh, how to go from CM7 to CM9 and so we're just going to go through that here now uh, the fun thing about my computer currently is that I don't even have Novacom installed on this machine. So we're going to go over this uh, real quickly and install and get this machine uh, ready and worthy to be able to uh, do such an install. And so first I'm going to go in and uh, I already downloaded most of the files that I need. I actually have them here. I'm going to run the Novacom installer and it detects that I'm running Windows 64-bit, which I am, and I'll let it download and do its thing. Uh, currently this touchpad has been running uh, CyanogenMod 7 for quite a while and it seems to be running very nicely now. This is the one that uh, Evil Libby has been using now uh, for uh, since December actually and she's loaded it up with all sorts of apps and whatnot so we're going to see what actually uh, occurs when we do this upgrade. So that should indicate to me there that the Novacom driver is installed and uh, let's just go see what we've got if I go into my uh, C drive and then go into uh, program files and there's my Palm Inc. folder as in the other videos and then here's my Novacom EXE. So fresh install of Novacom. Uh, this computer's never had Novacom before. Double clicked it, went through and now I have this. So in here I'm going to put the Acme Installer 2 file. Now I've downloaded this and let, let's go take a look here at the uh, actual Roots Wiki page and there will be a link to this in the video description. Uh, this is the Alpha 2 CyanogenMon 9 uh, thread on Roots Wiki. If I scroll down here a bit, where is it here? Okay, so here it says new Acme installer, do not use old installer with CM9. And if I click on this, it takes me to this page and actually I'm sorry, It'll take me to this page where it'll download this file. Now this file is not zipped. Acme Installer 2 is not zipped. So when I go to here where I've downloaded the file, I don't have to do anything to it. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to put it into the Palm Inc. folder. And there we have it. It's in there now. So that's really all I have to do with that. So I'm going to close this folder and now I also have here the CyanogenMod 9 RC0 Alpha 2 file. This is a zipped file. I'm not going to unzip it. And I do need to put this onto the touchpad. Now let me browse out to my computer here. And I actually the touchpad is not showing up, which means I have to adjust the touchpad here. So let me... Turn the touchpad on. Okay. And so the USB cable is plugged in. Let me just zip that up there. USB connected. And I'm going to hit the turn on USB storage. Okay. So now that I've done that, the computer recognizes that the touchpad is a drive where I can put files. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to look to see if I already have a CM install folder, which I do, and I'm going to open it up. Now if you don't have one already on the root of your touchpad, go ahead and make one. In this folder, I'm going to put the Alpha 2 zip file. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now one thing I didn't do is I didn't get any type of G apps. So I'm going to go G apps. So this is goo inside me front slash G apps. And I need to get a G apps file. 
So I'll just download this one here where it says CyanogenMod 9 and I'll click on this here and it'll go through the process. and it'll download this file. Now this is going to take uh, a few moments here so I'll stop and I'll come back when it's done downloading. Okay that file is done downloading so I'm going to go back to my folder where it's downloaded to and you'll notice now that I have a gapps file this again is a zipped file and it will stay zipped. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this into the CM install folder on my touchpad. Keep in mind, this is CM install. There's no space, there's no capital letters, it's just CM install, and it's right on the root of the touchpad. Now, in other videos, I have demonstrated how to do this upgrade from a uh, using the Clockwork Recovery mod, and, and that's fine, and that's all well and good if you're going to go from CM7 to CM9, and you don't care to keep anything, then you can use the uh, Clockwork Recovery mod to do that upgrade because you'll do a factory reset. Now, now, the purpose of this video is to show you that you can do this whole process uh, without losing anything. So my intention is that once I do this upgrade on this touchpad, that it'll actually just have ice cream sandwich and everything else it used to have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the touchpad. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this and this. Okay, so what's next? Well, let's take a look at the actual touchpad itself and see what we've got going on here. First thing that we need to pay attention to is the fact that, yes, I am actually still on. I'm going to turn off USB here, and I'm going to hit Home, and I'm going to show you in the settings. Scroll down to About Tablet. I just want to show you that yes, I am actually on the uh, Alpha 3.5, so this is Cyanogen Mod 7, based on the gingerbread, and uh, I just wanted to point that out to you before we got started any further, and I do want to point out also that uh, this thing is chock full of apps, so there are plenty of apps and games, and this is a heavily used tablet for its purpose. All right, uh, I think at this point we are ready to do the actual upgrade. So with the, and again, the USB cord is uh, plugged in. So I have to now reboot the tablet into HP recovery mode. So I'm gonna hold down the power button and I'm going to do reboot and I'm going to reboot to WebOS. Now, the more I think about this, it probably would have made more sense for me to just turn the thing completely off. Um, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to hold down the power button. Well, I guess I've missed my opportunity there, so it's a little too late. So we'll just let it boot into WebOS. This uh, touchpad probably isn't hasn't been into WebOS uh, since it was uh, uh, first purchased. So it'll be I'll be curious to see what comes up here. If it comes up at all, actually, here we go. The glowing orb indicates that the uh, WebOS is actually starting up. Again, this video is, is a little redundant, um, but it was necessary because so many people were requesting a video specifically to go from CM7 to CM9, and I, I felt a level of obligation to do that exact video. Um, Again, my previous video just basically gave you the ability to, to start fresh with ICS, but not everybody wants to do that. Okay, so now that I'm in here, I'm going to dismiss that and close that. All right, we're going to go to settings and device info. 
I guess while we're in here, we'll take a look and see what we've got going on. This is running WebOS 3.0.4, which means it's never even been upgraded to the 0.5. Um, also shows that my uh, battery is uh, a little less than I would like it to be, but that's okay. And this is a 16 gig. So we're going to do reset and restart. And as it restarts, I will hold down the volume up, which is the one on the left, and wait for it to pop up. I'm actually going to zoom out here because I want to show you what the computer's going to do. Okay, so right now the computer is installing drivers, and the tablet itself has the USB label or logo there. Now I'm going to go into my device drivers under our device manager. I'm just going to show you here because I believe that this is relevant. So in device manager here we're going to go take a look and see what we've got. Now one of the devices here it says Palm Novacom modules. If I double click this you see it says Palm Novacom booty. This is very important because this means that my computer can talk to the touchpad via Novacom. I want to point out just once more that this computer has never had Novacom on it. It's a Windows 7 64-bit and in the period of time it's taken for me to get to this point all I've done is double click the Novacom drivers and installed it and put the device into HP recovery mode. I haven't had to do anything special to get these drivers to load. All right, enough of that. Let's go see what else we can do here. Now that we know that the tablet is in the right mode, I'm going to actually, once my mouse starts working, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse that doesn't quite cooperate all the time. Okay, so I'm going to hit my start orb, and in the box above it, I'm going to type in CMD. And I'm going to hit enter, and this gives me my DOS box, as we're used to seeing. Okay, now I'm in the wrong directory. So what I'm going to do is, and I'll, I'll zoom in here for you to see what I'm about to type. All right, I'm going to do CD backslash. By the way, thank you all for uh, correcting me in terms of CD is uh, not correct connect directory, but rather change directory. Several of you pointed that out to me. CD program files, CD, palm, comma, space, ink. That's the folder we want to be in. And if I do a DIR, it shows me the files in here. I'm going to type in the command now, which is Nova com space boot space mem colon forward slash forward slash space less than space acme installer 2. Now the acme installer 2 is important because again like we learned uh, Acme Installer 2 is to install CM9 on top of CM7 so you don't lose anything. So you should be using Acme Installer 2 to do this. Now before I hit the magic OK button I want to make sure that you can see both the computer and the device. Alright, time to hit enter. And as I have been so affectionately calling them, the double penguin mode is now popping up. So from here, it's just a matter of sitting and watching it spin its wheels. And uh, as I have done in my other videos, I will speed this up to make the process uh, more palatable to watch.
The actual installation has finished and now I'm back to my MoBoot screen. Notice I'm still on MoBoot 0.3.3 on this device. Um, honestly, that's not a big deal, especially for this purpose. Uh, there's not going to be any major changes from 0.3.3 to 0.3.5 for the purposes of this process. Uh, both of them work equally as well. Cyanogen Mod was the default uh, boot up on the MoBoot screen, which is fantastic because I didn't have to interact with it. And now we're getting the boot up screen, the traditional ICS boot up animation that has been supplied with the CM, CM9 build. Now, as usual, Whenever we flash for the first time, the initial boot up does take a little bit longer than it does in subsequent boots. All right, this is fun because at this point it's telling you Android is upgrading, optimizing applications, and it's going through and it shows that there's 101 applications that it has to do. I will speed this up as well. Okay, looks like we're finished up here. Let's see uh, what we end up with. It looks like it kept her background. Looks like it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and it looks like the lock screen. Let's unlock it. And it wants to know which launcher we want to use. Now I was using Zeme on the CM7, which I think was uh, a right thing to use. Now we're gonna use the trebuchet. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, Playing okay so far. Now, one thing you'll notice is that all of my home screen uh, icons are missing in action, which is okay. It'll give Eva Libby something to do once she gets her tablet. But let's go in and make sure that everything is here. Choose apps. Okay. Well, let's see. Does everything look like it's here? Well, it looks like I have the Play Store, which is our uh, new market. So it looks like the G apps installed correctly. Let's go take a look and see if Gmail actually opens up and has mail. It does. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go see what else we've got. Let's make sure. Okay. It wants me to learn all about this. Okay. Let's go into settings just real quick. And we'll go down to about tablet. Now, obviously, I'm showing you that it's ICS, but... You know what ICS looks like, and you know that this is uh, this is in the right spot. So it actually did find my Wi-Fi already. Uh, I didn't have to go and reset that up or anything, which is a very handy thing. And uh, all in all, it looks like this upgrade went very smoothly. All the programs. Let's make sure everything works. We'll just take a look here. Uh, looks like. Uh, Eva Libby has not updated her Rev TV app, so that's something that we'll have to do here. In the meantime, uh, I think this puts you right where you need to be. If you're going straight from CM7 to CM9 and you wanted to keep all your goods, this is the way to do it. This was a very easy process. Uh, I did it on a computer that's never touched a touchpad before. So this is all, uh, this should at least give you uh, a good uh, example of a success story, how this can work. So uh, hopefully you all have the same type of success upgrading your Cyanogen mod 7 up to sign engine mod, mod 9. All right, uh, we'll leave it at that. This has been Reverend Kyle uh, showing you how to upgrade your HP touchpad.